I would like to invite uh, one gentleman from Mr. BHEL. Good afternoon to all of you. I am Nitin Chaturvedi from BHEL Bhopal unit. Uh, I am senior engineer in supplier development cell over there. My basic objective of coming over here to attend this conference is to look for suppliers. I will straightly come to the point. As you are all aware, BHEL is basically a power equipment manufacturing. So from morning we are uh, just getting to know the use of the non-ferrous items, especially copper with respect to the electrical industry. I belong to one manufacturing unit that is BHL Bhopal which is heavily dealing in its product mix, mix with respect to power equipment which includes hydro generators, switch gears, traction motors, heavy transformers, power transformers that generating kind of transformers which are just located at the power generation sites. So these are the items which we are making at the VHL Bhopal plant. As a non-ferrous supplier, I am not sure how many of you are manufacturers or traders. As a non-ferrous non supplier, so we have immense requirement for copper suppliers as well as for other metals which include zinc, tin and uh, nickel. In the proportions vary. In other than copper, if the product mix of uh, non-ferrous items is being taken, then copper would occupy around 80 to 85 percent, and the rest of the metals will occupy around 10 to 15 percent. With respect to copper, there is requirement of different types of coils which we are manufacturing over there. So it includes glass tipped copper, transposed copper, bare copper, copper flats, round copper. There are immense variety of copper consumption which is is presently available for you at BHL Bhopal unit. So I would just and the requirement is also we have uploaded on our website as well as if you want some more details you are very well welcome for the for uh, coming together at BHL Bhopal unit where you can have the interaction with the actual engineering group which is making and designing the product so that you can have a better understanding and appreciation of the requirement of the specification because mostly all of our product are tailor made as per the requirement of customers. There is no fixed set of requirement nowadays with respect to the power generation capacities order to order, tender to tender, they, they differ. So accordingly we have to design our transformer, our generators and accordingly the raw coils, insulations, whatever goes in, inside into the product needs to be redesigned and specification freeze. So if you are interested in supplying non-ferrous items which primarily focuses copper in our case then you are very welcome to arrive at BHL Bhopal unit. I will give you my contact details or if any some other information you want at this stage I will be able to provide. And secondly for becoming a supplier to BHL the first step is to get registered as a vendor. And for registration there is very simple step just visit our website. On our website that is just google in BHL Bhopal if you are having difficulty in locating the exact URL just google in BHL Bhopal you will land up to the right link just visit the website you will get the forms which you have to download just fill it up the address and everything is also given there on our website. So this is the first step for registration you send the documents we will process your applications and if everything goes right with respect to our requirements or you are able to, manuf able to offer us the requisite quality of the products and the requisite products then obviously you will get registered as a supplier. For good suppliers let me emphasize there is no bar. We may be having 100 numbers of suppliers but if we are having another 101 supplier which is capable of offering the good quality of the required product then we will have no hesitation in adding that supplier into our profile also. So I would just request all of you just visit our website if you are interested in getting registered. Third point which I want to make is there are certain items for which we don't have enough vendors. I am just deviating from this non-ferrous because I just want to utilize this opportunity. There are n number of items for which we don't have enough suppliers which may include ferrous as well as non-ferrous or there may be some other items. Which The list of such items along with the specification, along with contact details of the person, along with the annual procurement value we have uploaded on our website. So all of you are requested to just visit the website once. 
and I'm sure with the kind of product mix which we have at VHL Bhopal, you will definitely have something of for your interest pertaining to your area with respect to your business, which you can be, you can, you could be able to supply to us. So my basic request is just visit our website. You will get n number of items as well as if you are getting, if you are interested in getting registered as supplier, then you can have the registration forms also available there. So in that way, we can initiate our engage, engagement as a business partners. That's all. I just I want to summarize is that we are open for it. We are open for to do business with new people. We are we want to encourage new entrepreneurs. And the first step is that coming together. And I believe through this occasion, I will make. I have uh, tried my best to make this a little point that. Just visit our website. If you require, come to us. We will have a one-to-one -one interaction. And I strongly believe we can find something which can be mutually beneficial. Thank you very much. I just want, I would, I would request if you can just point out one or two items like copper tube, wrap, such so a few items. And your email ID if you can just. Yeah, sure. See, in copper, we are basically procuring copper conductors which include paper coated conductors, PCCW which is commonly called glued copper conductor, bare coppers, copper rotors, bars, copper flats, copper sheets, copper foils. These are n number of items which we are procuring for copper. The end use of and the end application of these copper is in the coils of transformers as well as the coils of different products which include hydro generators, tractions and many other industrial motors which we are manufacturing at Bhopal plant. Sneel sir has asked me to just share my email ID. I will give you my phone number also. Just if you want to, if you are interested, you can just write it down. The email ID is SDC. It's S for CERN, D for Delhi, C for Calcutta, the old Calcutta. At the rate BHEL, BPL dot CO dot IN. I just repeat SDC at the rate BHEL BPL dot CO dot IN. If you have any issue, any question, any remarks, any observation, just email at this mail ID. Just one more question. What is the difficulty with the present suppliers? I mean, are there shortage or quality or delivery? I mean, is there any particular problems? Well, or your demand Mr. is growing. Sneel has listed basically all the problems which we are facing. It's quality, it's delivery, it's price, everything. So, so th these are the areas where every customer is basically suffering with respect if we talk about the difficulties from the suppliers. So the issues somehow are related to quality. Delivery also is nowadays because time is money. There is no better time in the history of time that when we can say that time is money. So now if we are basically we are into power equipment, right? We are manufacturing power equipment for some power project. Now if we delay the sub if our supplier delays the supply, our power equipment manufacturing cycle gets delayed. Overall delivery to the customer gets delayed. The projected delivery of the project gets delayed and the customer charges LD on us. And even if 1% LD or 2% LD or 5000 crore pro project results in a huge amount of loss. So delivery is money. With respect to quality, there cannot be any two issues. The delivery, the quality has to stick to as per the requirement. Now many gentlemen, distinguished people have spoken from the morning that quality is basically enchantment to the customer. Quality is basically not just meeting about the standard specifications. It's something beyond. So that philosophy has to be followed. And with respect to price, yes, we are a public sector organization. We deal on a competitive price pricing basis. Your price should be able to meet the quality as well as the delivery requirement at the right price.